Hi guys, this is Dave Stahl, Vintage Apple Tech, and today we're going to talk about a few things. Uh, you're looking at my uh, kind of uh, beat up PowerBook G4. Uh, this is kind of a tech, I use this computer to do a lot of hacks with. Um, it, you know, it's nice to have an older uh, G4 machine. Uh, because uh, that way you can kind of integrate the new, some of the newer software with the older software when you're doing downloads and stuff. Because sometimes you just won't work on the newer systems. Um, so anyway, uh, basically, uh, this is my daughter's iPod Touch. This is the first generation, and it's in really it's almost like in mint shape except for the back's got a few scratches but I could polish it up and it would look pretty good but anyway the problem I had with this is I plugged it into my computer and I went to the iTunes and I did a factory reset on it but what happened was is it wiped all the operating system off of it so it would not boot up the uh, only thing you would see is just a little logo of the iTunes with the USB uh, logo to connect it to the iTunes via USB. So anyway, it took me a while to figure out how to get the iOS back on this thing because through the uh, Mac App Store, you know, the older software is not available anymore. So I found this site here, and pardon my camera work here, and this is my main machine here. It's a uh, uh, late 2013 iMac 27 inch uh, with i5 on it. Anyway, this uh, website um, is, I uh, found it, and it's uh, www.iphonehacks.com but they have older firmware for like the older iPhones, iPads, uh, I, any kind of iPod and so what I did is I went to Mac Tracker and I took and basically was trying to find out what was the latest operating system on it. This was the, uh, the, the first generation iPod Touch. It's the one with the, uh, on the box, which I have the original box for it, it has John Lennon on it. I found out what version that was. This is a model uh, 1213 which was the first generation and the latest software on it was um, uh, let's see it's right here it was you go here to first generation and this is the last version of software on it right here it's uh, uh, 11.154b1 and uh, but what happened is um, I would hit restore and it would not load it up on this one. So what I did is I used this uh, PowerBook G4 and did it on that one and uh, it worked like a champ. It uh, took and extracted the software, downloaded, extracted it, then it applied it to the iTouch and then um, it uh, booted up and uh, it works works fine now. Um, I didn't put any songs or anything on it yet, um, but uh, it you know it's it works. I'm I'm really happy. Um, so like uh, you know you can go to the world clock. It'll tell you what time it is. Um, you can go to the iMusic, which I don't have any songs on it yet. I'm, I was gonna put some on it. Um, then you can go into settings and it's hooked to my Wi-Fi there so the Wi-Fi is on it there um, you can go on Safari yeah, that works fine um, you can load it up let's put uh, eBay in here and then uh, let it pull it up and uh, so it's loaded up there and there you go, we're pulling it up. And I mean, uh, there's a, a, a different browser you can use on this, but it uh, it pulls it up, so it works good. And uh, so I was getting kind of worried that I wasn't ever gonna be able to get this thing going, but yeah. 
So, uh, like I said, this is the first generation iPhone Touch. It's a model 1213, A1213 to be exact. And uh, I know my daughter loved this thing. She took very, very good care of it. And uh, man, I, I, I remember I got this at uh, Costco when they had them. I'm just glad that I got that working again. And uh, like I said, uh, this uh, old PowerBook G4 it still works good. Uh, the case is all beat up on this thing. It never used to be that way. I actually sold this a long time ago. Um, and because uh, everything is all new in it. I had all kinds of extra parts and I just basically rebuilt it. And uh, the case was all brand new and everything. But uh, the, when the guy got it said it didn't work, which I knew that wasn't true. And when I got it back, uh, there was no packing in the box. It was all destroyed. The case hit the power button, powered right up, no problem. And these things are pretty bulletproof except for the very, very thin aluminum skin. Um, you know, that's why the unibodies, they're, they're a lot nicer in that respect. So yeah, so anyway, um, I thought that would be useful for you guys. Um, again, uh, this, uh, that's the, the website there. And, uh, like I said, it, you know, um, it's, um, you know, I don't, I think it's like a private website, but it's free. Um, I didn't see any torrents or anything on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, hopefully this will work for you guys. But I mean, they got, if you need any soft, uh, the latest firmware for your iPad, it's all the way up to current on it. Your iPhone, uh, even got the watch on here, and uh, just all kinds of stuff. And the uh, AirPods, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat. So um, anyway, I save that to my favorites here. And which I'm going to do it right now. Uh, let's see, we'll just uh, uh, add the bookmark here. Add it. Good. All right, so that will have it. I always have little bookmarks and stuff that makes it easy to find the websites. Uh, we will be getting back to this guy, the G3 there, uh, which is uh, still waiting on the board. Uh, Dust dude is very, very, very busy. This guy is just guys just inundated with work and I told him no problem just whenever you can get it back to me I'm no, no hurry for it but when we get it in like I said I'm eager to get leopard on it because you know leopards got a few more functionality things uh, than tiger does uh, tiger does run faster on the g3s um, but with the leopard with the g4 with the SSD drive in it should run pretty good, um, and then like I said, we have we we have the latest firmware update for that G3 too. So once we get it, uh, we can always update that G4 processor to the latest firm firmware on that too. So anyway, um, hope you guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.